In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put dots in your data in Excel with VBA. In other words, what I'm doing is I'm changing this string a thousand different ways by entering dots in, in the string. And so I'm going to go to my developer tab. I'm going to go to macros and I'm going to bring up my code or my file that's called put dots and I'm going to run it. And there you have um, all of them. Now, the first one has one dot in the last place, the second dot. So this, this is the location that you want the dots to be in. And if you scroll down here, you can see that all of the dots are in the different spots all the way down to a, thou a thousand different, uh, different options. Now, let me show you the code. So this is my code. I called it um, put dots, sub put dots, and I've defined R and C as long. Um, the starting text, the output text is a string, and I've defined the column. I, I've defined it twice. I've defined C as the column and column as a column so that I don't get it um, uh, mixed up. Now, so for uh, R equals three and column equals two, I'm defining defining the string that we're trying to manipulate. So what we're trying to manipulate is uh, is the example email dot or example email 25. Okay, so now I'm defining that. And now so now I'm going over to my um, to where my numbers are, where I want the the dots to appear. So it starts with E, which is column five. And so I'm going to column five and while well, column is less than 18 because it goes to from column five to column 17. If sheet cells R column value equals X. So it's looking for the X's in here. So then if, if it doesn't equal X, then go to the next column, which is basically at the, uh, at the end of the, uh, column equals column plus one. Okay, so if it doesn't have an X, then you go all the way to that, or else then you're finding the spot. So the spot equals the sheet one cells one. So the column the column number is in the first row, and it's with the, whatever the column that you're in where the X is. And so then it's going to take that as the spot. Now, what you're checking now to see if we've are, are already manipulated this string, and if if uh, sheet one cells R18, which is where the output is, does not contain, uh, does not equal uh, blank, then you go to more, which we will discuss there more is further down. But if it is, then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, decide where to put the first dot in. And so we're going to take the string value and then we're taking it to uh, the, the left value and you're doing the length of the string minus spot, and then you're adding a dot, and then you're taking the right of starting text, and you're uh, and you're going to the spot. So then you're going to put the remaining text after it. Now what we're going to do is we're defining the output after we've manipulated, just so that we can do more with it later. Now if the if we've already manipulated it here. Um, then what we're going to do is we're we're going to take um, the output, which is now which is living in uh, row row number and the column eighteen value, and then we're taking the output value, and we're taking the length minus the spot, and then we're adding the dot, and then we're going to take from the right of the output value to the spot. Okay, and then we go to the next column, and then we go to the next row. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.